In this video, we will talk about the types of flu and how do you know if you have the flu? There are basically three types of flu, also known as influenza. There's influenza A, there's influenza B, and there's influenza C. In the United States, most of us contract influenza A or influenza B. Influenza A, humans can contract and animals can contract. Influenza B, it's only human transmission. It's only human transmission. There are three ways to contract the flu. One are from respiratory droplets. That just comes from <clears throat> someone coughing and large droplets going in the air and you coming by and breathing them in and you can contract the flu that way. Number two are aerosolized droplets. Meaning someone coughs, it goes in the air and the aerosolized droplets are really small. Thus, they can linger in the air a lot longer. And you go in or you go in that space and you breathe it in and you contract the flu that way. A good example would be if you get on an elevator and no one's there and you get in the elevator. If the person who was just there, if they had influenza and they were coughing, it could still be lingering in the air and you can contract it that way. And then number three, we call it from fomite transmission or touching Meaning, someone who has influenza, they cough on a surface, the influenza is there, you come by, you touch it, then you touch your mouth, you can contract influenza that way. Symptoms. Once you contract influenza, it takes about one to two days for you to become symptomatic. However, you can become infectious much earlier. In other words, you can become infectious, you can transmit it to someone before you even have your first symptom. The most common symptoms are fever, headache, body ache, sore throat, chills, runny nose, vomiting, diarrhea, and the list goes on. But those are the most common symptoms for the flu. So you ask, well, how do I know if you have the flu? First, call your primary care doctor. Second, how do you know if you have the flu? We assess that from a few different ways. One of them is clinical presentation. I mean, how do you look when, when we evaluate you, your, your history as well? And then we like to supplement it with a test. It's usually a rapid antigen test, which is a swab. comes back in about 15 minutes. I'm going to go back to that shortly. And then there's an amino assay, and that takes a few days. As relates to that antigen test, which comes back in 15 minutes, sometimes that's not as reliable as it should be. And so hence we go in clinical assessment. If your antigen test is negative, but yet you tell me you've been exposed to someone with the flu and you've got body aches and chills and headaches, you probably have the flu and that test just did not pick it up. It's very important to assess within 48 hours whether or not you have the flu because you may be a candidate for some of the prescription medicines, for instance, Tamiflu, which while it doesn't treat it, it helps decrease the duration of the flu. Most people will do just fine once they contract the flu. Over-the-counter medications, appropriate rest, and appropriate hydration will be all that most people need. If you found this video helpful, be sure to join me on my next video, for which we will be discussing seven ways to treat the flu.